The Lord be with you. Dear people of God, in this season of Advent, it is our responsibility and joy to prepare ourselves to hear once more the message of the angels. They go to Bethlehem. And see the Son of God lying in a manger. Let us hear and heed in Holy Scripture the story of God's loving purpose from the time of our rebellion against God. Until the glorious redemption brought to us by our holy child, Jesus. And let us look forward to the yearly remembrance of his birth with hymns and songs of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world. For peace and justice on earth. For the unity and mission of the church for which Christ died. And especially for the church in this country and in the city. And because he particularly loves them, let us remember in his name the poor and the helpless. The cold, the hungry, and the oppressed. The sick and those who mourn. The lonely and unloved. The aged and little children. Finally, let us remember before God his pure and lowly mother. And that whole multitude that no one can number. Whose hope was in the word made flesh. And with whom, in Jesus, we are one forevermore. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And into the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of Angels bring us all. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. For I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The former things shall not be remembered or come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I am creating. For I am about to create Jerusalem as a joy and its people as a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and delight in my people. No more shall the sound of weeping be heard in it or the cry of distress. No more shall there be in it an infant that lives but a few days, or an old person who does not live out a lifetime. For one who dies at a hundred will be considered a youth, and one who falls short of a hundred will be considered accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not labor in vain or bear children for calamity, for they shall be offspring blessed by the Lord, and their descendants as well. Before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, the lion shall eat straw like the ox, but the serpent, its food shall be dust. They shall not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Luke chapter 2, 1 through 7. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth and Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem. Because he was descended from the house and family of David, he went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him 
in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Luke chapter 2 verses 8 through 14. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and said, And the glory of God, Lord, shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for I see I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth lying, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel of multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven on earth, peace among whom he favors. Three, four. 
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all of Jerusalem with him. And calling together the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for it so had been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judea. For from you shall come a ruler who is shepherd to my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me words that I may also go and pay him homage. When they heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy on entering the house. They saw the child with his mother Mary, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh.